Dude, this poor thing is like lying down his throat. What is up, my fellow fly fishermen? Graham Ferguson here, host of Flycast in Colorado. You guys may be wondering what's up with the change of background and that the background's kind of different, and that's because it is different. Uh, but we will get into that at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. I actually forgot to film an intro on this video, so I thought I would do it right here. Um, Me and my uh, good buddy, uh, Caddis Travis, you guys have probably seen him in multiple of my videos, we ended up going to the Big Thompson River. I actually caught some really big fish, uh, for me at least, pretty big fish. I am more of a quality over quantity. Like, I guess you could say I'm more of a quantity over quality. Actually, you know what? I'm someone who says size doesn't matter. I just really like the prettiness of the fish, that's what I like, which is why I like cutthroat trout and brook trout. We ended up uh, catching a caddis hatch at the very, very beginning, uh, and then the caddis hatch kind of died down a little bit after we got there, and then they started hitting on uh, large, like size 14, size 16 Griffith snats. I had a, oh, sorry, excuse me, a uh, very, very good time, and I hope you guys really enjoy this video. We have just arrived at our fishing spot. Looks pretty, pretty juicy, if I don't say so myself. Uh, really clear water. Um, and, uh, oh, I see a fish right there. So that's awesome. And it looks like they're hitting something off the surface, so. So I see lots of fish feeding on the surface right now. They're eating some sort of dry. I'm gonna try my hopper. I'm not sure if they're gonna take that as well. I'm probably gonna end up switching to a Adams if the uh, they refuse to take my hopper. Or is that Caddis? That might be Caddis. Oh, I just had one take my hopper. Crap. Six and a half hours later. I think that I'm probably gonna switch on over to an Elkhart Caddis. If this doesn't work, because I'm seeing. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to an Elkhart Caddis. Just switched it up to an Elkhart Caddis. Let me see if this is. There's one. Oh, Travis! Dude, I got a big one! Beautiful, beautiful brown. This is my PB! further left, right? Try 
Try to give yourself a second on that back cast. Wait a second. Let it unroll. No, no dude. There you go. Do it again. Perfect. Ooh, is there anyone over there, huh? Got nice, him. got him. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Good job, buddy. Good job. Time to switch to Griffiths, I think. Well, you caught that on an elk here, right? Yeah. Oh, you got it? Nice. Trouble netting it. That's okay. I'll we'll get him back in right now. Beautiful fish. Oh my god. Beautiful fish. You're okay. Lift him up. Raise your arm up. There you go. Good job. Oh, that's a big one. There you go. Look at that baby. Oh, dang. Dang. Oh, dang. 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 That is beautiful. Hey, oh my Graham, gosh. How does that feel? Uh, like. I, it feels pretty darn good. Like better than anything ever. Good job, buddy. Oh, that's a big, that's a big rainbow. Oh, that's such an awesome fish. Just caught a monster, monster rainbow. Oh, that's a big one. I'm gonna move a little bit upstream here. To a pocket up here and see if I can catch him. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish here. Love fishing here. I'm just gonna move up a little bit. Fish here are bigger than they seem. Oh, that's a big one! Like you'll see them underwater and you're like, oh, it's just a little one, and then like, boom, it's like a. Thank you. This is my uh, third. Uh... Travis! Just got another! Dude, this poor thing is like lying down his throat! You guys, do you see this, you guys? That's... You guys... Travis! I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but... Travis! Dude, this fish has a hook down its gullet! No, some person was bait fishing! So, you guys, this is exactly why bait fishing isn't allowed on this type of river. I mean, you guys, look. Yeah, it's a rainbow, but he has a, like, a hook down his gullet, like another hook. And it's from, like, a bait fishing setup, which is, like, banned here.
All right, do you have any Griffith snaps? Uh, they're really simple. They're like peacock hurl and then some grizzly hackle. They look like that. That's what I've been catching them on. Thank you very much. No problem. Yeah. Griffith snaps. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. I caught a few on an out there caddis, so I mean... That's what I've been... I caught most of mine just now on like a big river snack. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making it. Caught some really big fish that I am super happy with. I saw a ton of tiger musky actually. My GoPro and phone died though so I wasn't able to get any video of that. I ended up catching one as you guys saw that had the bait fishing rig and I'm gonna get into that right now. I was absolutely appalled by this. Uh, bait is uh, strictly prohibited at the section of the river that we were fishing. As a matter of fact, as you can see me walking in several of the shots, I'll put some pictures up right now of what they were. Uh, were there were two signs, and this was just as I was walking around. There were two signs visible in the video. Both of those say catch and release waters only, flies and lures only, um, and there's no bait allowed whatsoever. So. Whoever was doing that was fishing illegally, and that makes me upset. The good news is I believe that that fish will probably make it because seeing that it is still feeding with a hook down its gullet, the main uh, problem with when something like that happens is the fish being able to feed. And as you guys saw, it took my fly with pretty vigorously, which means that it is most likely still feeding. Hopefully that hook just rusts out or ends up finding its way out of that poor poor fish but that was a beautiful fish and unfortunately someone was fishing illegally i'm fine with you guys bait fishing where it's legal but when it's in a place that's not allowed and whenever you see someone who uh if you are doing this and you see someone who tells you that it's not allowed don't get mad at them i've had people get mad at me for telling them before but that is exactly why it's not allowed is because it really can hurt fish sometimes especially when you're keeping your fish that's the time to do that type of thing but other than that it's not great it's not good for catch and release i uh i don't think that you should ever do that on a positive note uh if you were, guys were wondering about the background yes i am in a hotel and uh i am going on an awesome trip and i definitely I'm going to be producing some awesome videos where I am right now. I just, I don't want to give you guys any cliffhangers. I'm just going to tell you guys where I am now so you guys know what to expect. This should be a super awesome adventure because I am in the amazing state of North